Uh, America deserves a raise, and this is uh, an amendment to uh, make a state of uh, Congress that we want to raise the minimum wage. Uh, the, if you look at the graph, the minimum wage actually hasn't um, – has less value than it did in 1956. That goes back to 1963. But we haven't had an increase since 2009. Uh, productivity has gone up. Wages have been stagnant and declining. Uh, and that's had a real effect on real people and on the economy. Uh, next is slide 25. Uh, if we raise minimum wage, we're going to benefit 28 million Americans immediately, and millions uh, would be lifted out of poverty. Uh, it's just something uh, that makes a lot of sense to do, to go to 1010 within the next three years. In Wisconsin alone, that's about 500,000 people would benefit uh, from that increase in minimum wage. And uh, it's something that would benefit someone in every single one of our districts. If you go to slide 12, uh, also um, minimum wage, I'm a small business owner. I've been since I had hair uh, over half of my life, 26 years. Um, yeah, it's a long time. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. Um, and uh, this puts money uh, into the pockets of people who will put it into the economy immediately. Uh, when I talk to others, I do business to business. I only talk to small business owners uh, for the last 26 years of my business. Uh, this is something, again, on slide 12, if we can get to, um, would make sure that people have money in their pockets. I always say uh, it's one of those issues where uh, – CEO is making 354 times the lowest paid employee. If we buy a sofa, I buy a sofa, there's no way that person can buy 354 sofas uh, to be equivalent uh, in the economy. So you can help stimulate the economy immediately by putting that money in. And this slide shows some of the myths that are out there. I don't know if you can read it. I apologize. It's very small. But I think most people think of that minimum wage worker as a teenager working part-time after school. They live with their parents, and this is their extra spending money. Uh, in reality, the average person who gets minimum wage is 35 years old. 88% uh, are not teenagers, they're 20 or older, 36% uh, are over 40, 56% are women, 28% have children, 55% of them work full-time, and on average, uh, about half of them, this is half of their uh, family's income. So the minimum wage worker is not the myth of a minimum wage worker. It's a very real person that's in all of our districts who's had a stagnant wage, hasn't uh, had that increase as the rest of prosperity has increased in the economy, and uh, it won't cost us jobs. I know the CBO report said it could. If you look at what they looked at, they were missing a few things specifically uh, in that uh, workers would be more productive and uh, you'd have lower absenteeism and other things by paying people more. But also 600 economists, including Nobel Prize winners, have said it won't cost us jobs. It's a win-win, win for workers, a win for small businesses. And uh, I would like to yield, if I could, two minutes to Mr. Jeffries.